Hey everyone, welcome back to Mr. Geopolitics. So we're going to make this video a really short one. It's not going to be 20 minutes or you know 30 minutes like the previous ones. Um, if you want to hear me yap about everything about Ukraine lately, you can watch the previous two videos I made. But we're going to just concentrate on the goods today. Just get right into it. Um, essentially, if you look at the map, you notice the disparity in firepower. This is all Russian artillery, rockets, Russian um, mortar fire. So the Russians are shelling the Ukrainians. So it looks, seems to me like 20 to 1 at least, with a ratio of 20 to 1 on every front line. Um, Yeah, so that's that. Notice that. Notice the disparity in firepower. And then we're going to just get right into uh, the area that counts. So this is the fifth day of the Kherson uh, counteroffensive, September 2nd. And uh, in the Kherson area, you see this huge cluster of uh, Russian uh, artillery fire, um, Russian airstrikes, everything. Now, one thing is that uh, the, the, the village or hamlet of uh, Ternovi Podi was, t alleged, was reportedly taken back by the Russians. So the Russians uh, pushed the Ukrainians out after pounding the, the area with artillery and destroying some uh, Ukrainian units. Um, so the Ukrainians took th the Russians took that back, but the Ukrainians still occupy the adjacent town of uh, Lubomirivka right here. I'm not sure if the Russians even ever controlled this lately, but um, that's what I'm hearing from some sources. There's conflicting reports. Um, uh, I'm going to show you that visually, but uh, there's a lot of conflicting reports, so. The situation is somewhat confusing, but um, here in the um, in the uh, what do you call it? The David Breed area. They call this the David Breed area. Uh, the Russians have destroyed three the three pontoon bridges, which the Ukrainians were using to cross their uh, their forces into the southern area right here. Now, this is a little confusing, but see, according to this map, this is what it originally looks like. And uh, this map, the UA Live map, uh, has basically admitted that uh, Suki Stavok is in the that the Ukrainians have, uh, have taken this area. Earlier, they didn't even show that, they didn't show anything. But um, because the Ukrainians are not even making any reports, they're just staying tight-lipped about this whole operation. Um, but anyway, Suki Stavok, this map shows the, the Ukrainians have uh, taken, liberated. But according to the Russians, there's a, they paint a different picture. According to most Russian sources, see this area on the right? The Russians say they control this entire area on the right, starting from this line right here. The Russians say they control the, the hamlet or town or village of uh, Bilohirka. And they also say they control the, 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 the village of uh, Bila Kristinitsya. All right, so all these areas on the, on the right, on the west, the Russians say they control. And all these areas on the left, um, sorry, east I meant, uh, th this part on the right, and all these areas on the left, the Ukrainians um, apparently, sorry, the Russians are saying that these areas are under contention. So all these areas on the west, on the right, including these two towns, villages, whatever, the Russians say they control. And they're trying to reconnect to this town right here, which is now uh, isolated, Bila Kristin. Kristinitsya, um, but um, all these areas on the left, on the west, are under contention according to the Russians. They're being fought for right now. Nobody really, uh, they're in the gray zone. 
And then uh, if you look at the town of Suki Stavok, the Russians are pounding the town with artillery, most likely. And um, some sources say that south of Su Suki Stavok, the Ukrainians have a bridgehead, which includes uh, the towns of uh, the villages of Kostromka, Shasiv. Shasive, Shasive, and uh, recently Bezimini. Now, um, I think it was two days ago the Ukrainians tried to go for uh, the village of uh, Brukinsk, right? They tried to take the village of Brukinsk, which would have been problematic for the Russians because it's connected to the T twenty two oh seven highway which connects to all these uh, settlements which are on the front line right so that would have been problematic for the Russians so they pushed the Ukrainians away from Bruk Brukinsk and now the Ukrainians um, they made their way more westwards right they made their way south and then more to the west um, but this is what live live UA map shows, and just to give you a better idea, because my map's a mess, I tried. But um, this is the the situation according to the mapper Rybar. Rybar says that this is uh, Suki Stavok. Okay, I'm gonna zoom in. So th this is Suki Stavok. As you can see, all these areas up up here to the north are in contention. This town right here is isolated, but the areas the Ukrainians don't control they don't it's not in blue it's in the gray zone so it's under contention but it's uh, pretty much isolated but they're still holding out anyways um, the Ukrainians are trying to make further advances but it seems like they're trying to go in any direction they can they try to cut off this main highway which would have been uh, that would have been a very strategic goal but they were repelled as you can see with these two arrows so they just made their way south southwards to the west now let's look at another map this is the um, ISW map and this is Suki Stavok right here on the ISW map and they show kind of kind of the same thing the town below the village below of uh, Kostromka and then kind of like a little bulge towards uh, the west south south southwestern direction Kind of different, but kind of the same. Um, then, if we look at another map, uh, this is the militaryland.net map. All they show is Suki Stavok. So, all they show is Suki Stavok, just like the live UA maps, pro Ukrainian map. But uh, a lot of mappers online are saying it's uh, there's a Below Suki Stavok, there's a bulge which goes into the next three towns in the southwestern uh, direction, which I try to show you right here. Just, just to re repeat again, on this map, every everything on these two, these two towns on the right are under Russian control. Everything else on the left, in blue, is under contention. And this is the bulge that they've been able to make. But apparently the Russians, um, like I said, they've cut off the uh, the pontoon bridges connecting the Ingulitz in River. So now the Ukrainians are apparently stranded and uh, it seems like the Russians are trying to encircle the remaining forces. I'm not sure how many troops the Ukrainians have in this bulge in this area, but they might be in the hundreds and the Russians are trying to basically encircle them. Um, yeah, basically, that's it for today, guys. I promised you a short video, and that's it. So, anyways, um, please like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.